trigonometric equations and their principal and general solutions. Let's first of all revise this special number line. The number line on which 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. till infinity, minus 1, minus 2, etc. till minus infinity are marked, but made it special by plotting some new numbers, special numbers. They are actually the measures of angles in radian measure, angles in standard position measured in radian measure. 0 radian, pi by 2 radian, pi radian, 3 pi by 2 radian, 2 pi radian, 3 pi radian, 4 pi radian, etc. How do we plot them on the number line? First of all, let's go by pi. The value of pi is 3.14. So it is marked between 3 and 4, 3.14. And exactly half is pi by 2. Pi by 2, half of pi. Pi by 2. So it comes exactly in the middle of 0 and pi. Double of pi is 2 pi. 6.28, 2 pi radians. And in between pi and 2 pi comes 3 pi by 2. Here it is, 3 pi by 2, etc. Positive angles go this way. All these positive angle has their respective negative angles. Minus pi by 2, minus pi, minus 3 pi by 2, minus 2 pi, etc. Now, the solutions of the trigonometric equations that we are going to consider, we will mark on this number line. The solutions will be observed on this number line. Depending upon the angles the solutions gave. Let's go by the first one. Find all solutions of the trigonometric equation sin x equal to 0. Solutions. Solutions means all possible values of the variable which make the equation true. Let's recollect our basic knowledge. What are the values of x which will make sin x 0? Of course, x equal to 0 is a solution. x can be 0 radian. Sin 0 radian is 0. Also, x equal to pi radian, sin pi also is 0. So, sin 0, 0, sin pi, 0. Two solutions we have. Let's look at the number line 0 and pi. These are two solutions. Now, if pi is a solution and 0 is a solution, let's go by making its quaternal angles. Full rotation will reach at this terminal side once more, but the measure will be 2 pi radians. 2 pi. Full rotation 2 pi. So 2 pi will also be a solution. Then 3 pi will also be a solution because 3 pi and pi are coterminal. Start from here. This is 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi here again. So, 3 pi and pi are coterminal. So, they are also solutions. Similarly, 4 pi, etc. All these positive angles are solution. Not only those. Again, let's go by minus angle. From here, if you take a minus pi, you reach here. So, minus pi is also a solution because it is coterminal with positive pi. Sin minus pi also 0. Minus 2 pi minus 3 pi, minus 4 pi, etc. So many solutions, infinite number of solutions, but all of them have something special. What? They are all integer multiples of pi. So we can write the general solution to this equation as x is equal to n pi, where n is any integer. X is equal to n pi is the general solution. Let's keep it as a formula. When the equation is sin x equal to 0, then the general solution will be x is equal to n pi where n is an integer. n is any integer. n can be 0, 1, 2, etc. Minus 1, minus 2, etc. All these integers will give various solutions. Now, what do we mean by principal solution? The solutions for which the value of x lie between 0 and 2 pi are called principal solutions. Let's see which are they here between 0 and 2 pi. 
and the definition clearly says x can be equal to 0 but not equal to 2 pi. You take 0 as principal solution but not its coterminal side 2 pi again. So, the solutions that lie from 0 till 2 pi is 0 and pi. These are the only two solutions. These are the only two solutions which lie in this region. Hence, the principal solutions are x is equal to 0 and pi. Let's go for another equation. Find all solutions of the trigonometric equation cos x equal to 0. Now, what are the possible values of x for which cos x can be 0? The first angle that it comes across is pi by 2. Yes, cos pi by 2 0. Therefore, x can take the value pi by 2. Pi by 2 is a solution. Pi by 2 is a solution. Also, cos 3 pi by 2 is 0. Cos 3 pi by 2. 3 pi by 2 till here. So, 3 pi by 2 also is a solution. Now, this pi by 2 can have a coterminal angle by going one more rotation. Pi by 2 plus 2 pi, wonderful rotation, makes it 5 pi by 2 is also a solution. Then, coterminal with 3 pi by 2 is 7 pi by 2. That is because 3 pi by 2 plus 2 pi. Plus 2 pi is the rotation, one more rotation to make it coterminal. 7 pi by 2 comes, etc. But, what about this angle coterminal when you take in the negative direction? This is minus pi by 2, then minus 3 pi by 2, minus 5 pi by 2, etc. They are also solution. So, pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, etc. Minus pi by 2, minus 3 pi by 2, etc. These are all solutions since we write the general solution as x is equal to multiples of pi by 2, of course, but not simply integer. The coefficients are all odd multiples of pi by 2. Coefficients are all odd numbers. 1 pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, 7 pi by 2, etc. So, we write the general solution as 2n plus 1 pi by 2, where n is any integer. Any integer n will make 2n plus 1 an odd number. This is the solution. We will have next formula therefore. Whenever cos x equal to 0 is the equation, cos x equal to 0 equation, gives the general solution x is equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2. This angle will be 2n plus 1 pi by 2 where n is an integer. This is the general solution for cos x equal to 0. Now, principal solutions let's look at. Principal solutions are the ones falling between 0 and 2 pi. Here, they are pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. These are the only two solutions which fall in this prescribed interval. Hence, the principal solutions are pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. Next, we have tan x equal to 0 equation. What are the possible values of x which make this equation true? x equal to 0 because tan 0 is 0, tan 0 radian 0. Tan pi radian also 0, tan 2 pi, tan 3 pi, all these are zeros. So, the possible values of x, 0 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, etc. Not only these, minus pi, minus 2 pi, minus 3 pi, etc. also. So, we can write the general solution as x is equal to n pi, where n is an integer. Now, the solutions which fall within the prescribed interval of the principal region, that is 0 to 2 pi, they are 0 and pi only. So, whenever the equation is tan x equal to 0, the solution will be x equal to n pi where n is an integer. And the principal solutions are 0 and pi. 0 and pi are the principal solutions.